What is going on guys, it's 42 Sports here, and today I am back with another college football prediction video, and this time it is between the West Virginia Mountaineers versus the NC State Wolfpack. Alright, so it, it's crazy to even think about, like, talking about NC State and West Virginia because I, myself, is a UNC fan, and I know a lot of NC State fans will not like that because they'll automatically think that I'll be biased uh, towards this video, uh, but I'm not going to be biased at all. Uh, both teams are really good, uh, but NC State and West Virginia lost their entire, but kind of like entire, um, their defense. Like, NC State lost their, uh, Bradley Chubb and uh, Fernandez as well, so that's huge for them. Their defensive line is going to be really young, but they don't count. Wolfpack out. Mountaineers also are going to be really, really good on offense as well with NC State and uh, Ryan Finley. Uh, but the game is going to be at Carter Finley Stadium, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time, September 15th of 2018. And the matchup predictor has NC State 57.6% to 44% uh, because it's at NC State. And NC State has a good atmosphere in college football. Sadly, because I am a UNC fan and I don't really like NC State. Um, but hey, it's just it's college football. So I'm going to talk about college football. I'm going to go through the stats and then predict. I'm going to do two scores this time, so I won't be total biased in this video. Uh, so let's go ahead and go through the stats for last year. NC State last year had a really good season, even though they had a lot of uh, some games that were costly, like the South Carolina game and the Clemson game that kind of got robbed in because Clemson somehow gets lucky all the time. Uh, also, Bradley Chubb is gone from Denver. Fernandez as well from both defensive lines, so that's going to be huge for them. Uh, Will Greer is back with West Virginia. West Virginia struggled last year. They went 7-6, 5-4. Will Greer, that was the first year uh, with the uh, West Virginia Mountaineers after the violations he had of Florida. Uh, all right, so the stats. NC State, Ryan Finley, he had a great season last year. Could have been possible in the Heisman or he could be in the Heisman watch list this year. Uh, see how he pans out with the Wolfpack. Ryan Finley had 312 completions to 479 attempts, 3,518 passing yards, 65.1% uh, completion percentage, 7.34 uh, 7 yards average, 17 touchdowns, and 6 interceptions with a QBR rating of 136.0. Really, really good for his quarterback. For his, I believe he's a senior this year. If, if you're an NC State fan, let me know in the comments below if I miss anything, if the players aren't there, or um, just anything in general. Uh, West Virginia, Will Greer, uh, also had a really good season as well, similar to Ryan Finley's. Uh, he had 250 to 338 completions to attempts, 3,490 passing yards, 64.4 uh, completion to percentage, 9.00 uh, yards average, 34 touchdowns, and 12 interceptions with a QBR rating of 162.7. All right, so well, that's because he's in the Big 12. Big 12 doesn't have good defense. Um, so running backs, as you guys know, that not Naheem Hines, if I pronounced the name wrong, I'm sorry, uh, that was a huge loss for them. He had 1,000 yards of rushing last year. He's gone to the NFL. Jalen Samuels is also gone, so that's a huge loss for both of them. But they still got Reggie Glipsy, if I pronounced that name right as well. Uh, the second, he had 116 carries. 506 uh, rushing yards, 4.4 uh, yards average, and seven touchdowns. So that's going to be another huge key aspect for the NC State Wolfpack. All right, West Virginia. Kennedy McCoy is back with the team. He had 125 carries, 596 uh, rushing yards, 4.8 uh, yards average, and seven touchdowns. Almost as similar to Reggie's from NC State, but they do lose Justin Crawford, and that is a huge loss because he had an over a thousand yards as well and a lot of touchdowns also all right so nc state nc state still has a good receiving core uh this upcoming season we got kelvin herman he had 69 receptions uh, 1107 yards which is really really good um 14.7 yards average four touchdowns jacoby myers he had 63 receptions 727 yards of uh, receiving 11.5 yards average and five touchdowns. Stephen Lewis, he had 37 receptions, 583 passing or receiving yards, 15.8 yards average, and two touchdowns. If you look at the yards average that uh, Ryan Finley um, passes to his receivers, that is really, really good to see 
that majority of the games that these receivers get is about 10 yards average at the top three wide receivers. It's really, really good. All right, so West Virginia, we have Gary Jennings is back with the team. This is really weird. He had 97 receptions, 1,096 receiving yards, 11.3 yards average, and he only had one touchdown, which is really, really odd to me because he has 1,000 receiving yards, but yet only one touchdown, which is crazy. David Seals, uh, he's really, really good also. Uh, he Actually, he was, he was a quarterback, and he switched over to receiver, and he's one of the best receivers in the Big 12. So NC State has to watch out for David Seals and Gary Jennings as they play uh, Mountaineers and Carter Finley. All right, David Sills had 60 receptions, 980 uh, receiving yards, 16.3 uh, yards average, 18 touchdowns, which is really, really good. Uh, Marcus Sims, he had 35 receptions, 663 yards, 18.9 uh, yards average, and five touchdowns. The only big loss that uh, West Virginia uh, his loss is Karan White. He's he, uh, he was a big loss to him. He had over a thousand receiving yards and multiple touchdowns as well. All right, so this is where it gets crazy on defense. Defense, they're going to be really young on both sides, especially NC State, because these are the players that are gone from the team that were both huge losses. All right, Gerard Fernandez. He is he was a huge asset to NC State. He is gone to the NFL. Bradley Chubb is gone. Arius Moore. Uh, Sean Boone, B.J. Hill, Jonathan Alston, Contavious Street, Justice Jones, and Mike Stevens. It's eight people, majority of them on the starting lineup, gone, which is crazy. But they still have Jarius Moorhead. He's a safety, had 80 tackles, one interception. Jermaine Pratt, he's a linebacker or a safety. We put him in that position. He has 69 tackles and two interceptions. We also had Tim Gid Class. Uh, he's a safety. He had 35 tackles and one interception. So they lose eight guys, or eight key guys uh, on the team. And majority, that's like their whole starting lineup, kind of, if you want to put it in that perspective. Uh, they're, they're really young this year. Also, West Virginia is, as well, very young also. So David Long is uh, is back with West Virginia. Uh, he has a linebacker. He's a linebacker. He has 75 tackles. Uh, Drayvon Henry, he's a cornerback or safety. He had 57 tackles and one interception. Kenny Robinson, which is a huge asset for them. He's a safety. He had 46 tackles and three interceptions. Now, these are the players that are huge losses to them as well, that they have seven-plus uh, guys also that are gone. That was huge for them. Uh, so Al Rashid Benton, he was a huge loss for them. Uh, Kaiser White, Elijah Battle, Mike Daniels, Xavier Preston, Marvin Gross, and Xavier Pegas, I'm, if I pronounced that wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, so the final score in my prediction of both of these scores, I'm not. I'm gonna, I don't try to. I'm not going to try to be biased since I'm a UNC fan, but I'm just talking about college football because I love college football. I feel like honestly that possibly the Wolfpack might win uh, because it's at home and it's going to be a shootout game, uh, just because it's going to be an offensive game. And uh, I feel like West Virginia might come up short, uh, but also I'm going to predict their winning score as well. So. Here's my prediction. I predict that the Wolfpack will go 42 to 35 and West Virginia 35-31. And um, if it was West Virginia, NC State kicked the field goal to tie it to take the lead, and then West Virginia scores in like middle of the uh, in the fourth quarter, while NC State scores uh, in like the midway through the fourth quarter, and they take the lead and they just control it on defense. And then its final score uh, is 42-35 for NC State. And then for uh, West Virginia, it's 35-31. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. It's crazy. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I know I'm a UNC fan. I'm trying not to be uh, total biased here. Uh, it's going to be a really good game. I feel like it's going to be an up-tempo passing type game, like a Big 12 game, because both defenses are really young. But who knows? I could be wrong. All right, guys. Comment below what you guys think. 42 Sports here. Like, comment, subscribe. Guys, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. College football is only two weeks away, which I cannot wait. All right, guys. Peace.